this is a video on using liquid copper to uh, ensure that your new growth for the new season is beautiful, lush, you know, uh, liquid copper will help with peach curl, peach leaf curl, um, any spores that are living in the little buds, flower buds or leaf buds. So you want to ensure you get all those little nooks and crannies with the liquid copper. And I love to start spraying the tree right in the center, right where the new growth is going to be next year. That's all it takes. Now, you can, this could be used year round. All you have to do is just spray very briskly. Not, not a lot, not a lot. That's it. That's all you got to do. But always make sure to spray the tip. And any little buds such as like this, you see that little bud here? That's where the spores and everything else is going to attack, right there. Now you don't want to go one by one like that, but any, anywhere that you see stuff like that where it's a little baby, you don't want to lose it. If you don't spray it, you're going to probably lose it next year. That's why you have uh, trees that have man mangled fruit or small fruit or leaves that look horrible looks like a diseased tree and you don't want to eat the fruit off the tree because the leaves look diseased uh, but fruit is most likely okay to be eaten but likewise you want to do a quick spray of the the limbs as well very fast very fast don't don't waste your time we don't have forever but anyways this has to be done in the middle of fall or the first month of winter and right before the leaves and the new flower buds uh, open up right before if you wait till you start seeing a little bit of a flower it's too late whatever fungus was in there or disease it already got it it's too late no matter how much you spray afterwards it won't come back so if you have prone to peach curl peach leaf curl and you didn't spray before that leaf came out when it was a little baby infant before that happened if you didn't spray it you're going to get another year of peach leaf curl